Hello there, right, what I'm after doing this in this video um, is replacing this conservatory roof. It's far too noisy in rain, far too cold in winter and far too hot in summer. Um, so I want to replace it and I've looked at conventional roofing. The framework won't hold a conventional roof, tiles and all that sort of stuff. There's just no way and I don't want to be reinforcing with loads and loads of steel work in order to, to do it. So I wanted something that was reasonably lightweight, won't be as light as what is on there now, but reasonably lightweight that the framework can hold. Um, and what I've come up with is putting a steel roof on, like you get on a commercial building, 100 mil thick, um, and give it a good gradient. I'm going to raise this front wall up 100 mil with timber, so it's got a solid support to go across it. That'll help the strength of it as well and raise the back right up to the eaves of the gutter um, giving me the, the, same the same pitch that I've got now possibly a little bit more but the main purpose of that is on the inside I'll be able to put an additional false ceiling plastic false ceiling in there um, so that I can then put lights in anywhere I want because the ceiling that's going in you can't penetrate it and you don't want it because it's insulated now this is the uh, like Kingspan product it's 100 mil thick, meter wide, three meters long. Um, and this one's actually Tata steel. It's not too heavy. You can pile up into most ceilings. Now one question I had, and I asked many people when I was doing this, when I was trying to organize and, and research this, was what support does it need? I've got a 2.7 meter span. I don't have space really for any heavy duty centre beams to half that amount. And ordinarily you say that is not, nothing's going to span that and be solid. But you never know, I asked, can I? Can I span this 2.7 and it take my weight? So I can work on it comfortably without having to stretch over one piece at a time like you do a conventional conservatory roof. Nobody would answer. Nobody would give me a straight answer. Uh, all they did was keep referring me to the framework specifications which brought it down to a minimum of 1.5 metres. So, hmm, how do I find out? Well, this is how I found out. Here I have a little test piece. Rather than doing it up in mid-air and uh, 12 inches off the floor, supported at both ends, giving me more than the 2.7 inches. In fact, I've got the full 3 metres and there is no dip in there at all. So we've got no problems about that supporting my weight without any additional support. So that's a blessing. Right, the first thing we've got to do is cut these roofing panels to size. Now, the panels start off at three metres by a metre wide. Uh, the conservatory on a finish is 2.7 by 5.06. Oh, a little over five, which is why I bought six of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut the width down of two of them to give me that 5.06. I laid them out dry fit on the floor here, um, just so I can get an accurate measurement. And I've marked the top two panels where I want to cut them. Then the next part is a 2.7. Now the 2.7 is the resting point before the overhang. We need an overhang for the gutter part. Now the gutter part only wants to be the top leaf of the panel, the top skin, the corrugated part. That's the only bit you want hanging over into the gutter. The insulation and the inner panel all want cutting back. So you need to work out how much of a overhang you want, which is about 50 mil, um, and cut that back. And then the remainder, I want 2.7. So it gives me enough to play with. Right, so I need to do that with all six pieces that are left over. But first, I want to cut the full length. Now, to cut them's easy. Use your standard battery trim saw. All you have to do is go get yourself a steel blade for it. I got this one. Have a read of that. Now, there'll be different makes, different types. Have a look around. Just make sure that it shows that it's for steel cutting. You want something reasonably fine. It'll cut through this stuff. It's only thin tin. It'll cut through it quite easily. Now, when cutting it, if you're going to be cutting right the way through, cut the corrugated side first. 
because that is the side that is the most tricky because you're going up and down and you want rigidity of the board. If you cut the underside, then they're going to get a lot of movement while you're cutting it. So it just gives you that little bit of extra support while you're doing the work. There we go, that's how easy to cut the length down is. Now the next thing we're going to do is cut for the gutter. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Five more, and we're ready for some assembly. Right, what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting the profile shape of the uh, roofing panels onto this fascia board because what I want it to do is when it's finished is this will sit behind the gutter closing up the uh, insulation board there. Reasons for that are twofold. One, this insulation is not UV friendly. It will break down over time if left in the sun. The second reason is this being the gutter end, should the water decide to run back on this track, it will eventually penetrate this side and get inside the building. With this fascia cover on, silicon to the top, that prevents that from happening. Now all the boards are ready, everything else is ready for it. Um, on this very windy day, which wasn't forecast, the first job that I've got to do now is take this roof off. And if you can't hear this because of the wind, go ahead, we'll try and uh, edit it somehow. But I've got to get this whole roof off, which I'm going to do now, get it all wrecked up, and then tomorrow I can start putting on a new roof. Providing it doesn't rain overnight, it's not forecast stuff, but I've stopped believing them. Difficult job to do alone, but uh, there you go. Sometimes you have to. I did have help, but, but as usual, you did. Right now, I'll get upstairs and start with the uh, top piece. I'll go get that off, then I've got access to our these patterns. And I can get the panels off one at a time. Right, I'll start with the top
Right, there we are, that's the restoration work done. As you can see, I've put a, the first header timber on. Uh, that's mainly to stop the windows actually bobbing around. They're quite insecure now the roof's taken off. Um, but you can see what I've done there. Just a couple of laminated um, rough cut 4B2s um, gives me the header there. Uh, but that's it for now. I think we'll leave it there and come back tomorrow and uh, put the new roof on.